Greetings and welcome to the 11th review of our 2017 Christmas sample series. Today I have, uh, I've labelled quite a few cigars in this sample series as iconic and uh, this is certainly true of this one. Let me show it to you. It's a Cohiba Lanceros. Um, some interesting um, characteristics of this cigar even before you smoke it. First of all, notice the uh, pigtail on the top, uh, that little piece of uh, cap that's been twisted. We'll come to that in a second. Uh, the other thing is, uh, and we have talked about this in previous reviews, uh, the new band, new holographic band to prevent counterfeiting. But the main thing um, I wanted to look at today uh, in smoking the cigar is the fact that this is a, well and truly a long and skinny 38 ring gauge by 192 millimeters at Leguido number one. But before we get to the fact that it's a long and skinny, let's look at this pigtail. Now, uh, this pigtail is just, we're gonna have to carefully do this today. Uh, it's just wrapped together at the top of the cap. What you can do with these is unwrap it like that. Just use your thumb, press down on your finger and your, uh, your index finger in your uh, thumb on the uh, on the head of the cigar and just use your other thumb just to get rid of the uh, cap which I've just done there and that comes off rather nicely you may not be able to see that but uh, that's what I'm going to smoke from today um, why is a pigtail there? I think that's something that I need to uh, maybe put up on the forum because I've been trying to research that uh, in the last few days and I uh, haven't, haven't got that far. But uh, while I light this up and uh, smoke through the first third, uh, I can tell you that uh, the Lanceros always came with a pigtail. Um, and I think the idea behind it uh, from a Cuban cigar tradition, the Banos tradition, is that the Lanceros was a diplomatic premium cigar released in 1964 and given to diplomats. Uh, later on, five or, five or six years later in the 70s, it was uh, brought out as a, um, not brought out, but given away as a, to VIPs too. Um, the Cohiba uh, Corona Especialis, uh, which is also a 38 ring gauge cigar, 40 millimetres smaller, 4 centimetres, 152 millimetres long. That came out in 1967, and that was a uh, also I thought of as a diplomatic, uh, a, a cigar that you give to VIPs or diplomats. Um, now, uh, that also had a pigtail. Um, I don't know if the thinking behind putting a pigtail on these cigars is that you could unwrap uh, the top like you've seen me do and uh, draw through it, which is just have the first draw through this cigar now. Excuse me, I'll take a minute there. I just need another draw on that. Wondrous. Wondrous. So just put that down for a second. Um, so, with the uh, pigtails, we're talking about the pigtail. Um, they have been mainly exclusive to uh, the Liguido number one or the Liguido number two size. Liguido number one being the Lanchero size and Liguido number two being the Corona Especialis size. Um, so uh, over the years, that you've had cigars of that size that have come and gone, the Davidoff's number one and two until uh, Zeno Davidoff, uh, of course, pulled um, his brand out of uh, Cuba in uh, the late 80s, early 90s. Um, uh, we had a diplomatic and number six and number seven that was uh, discontinued in the, the mid 80s that was uh, also had pigtails on. There was a few Hoya de Monterey cigars. Uh, the, 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 I hope I say it right, the La Hoya de Dufon, de Dufon that was uh, discontinued in the early 2000s, uh, was a Laguido number two size, as was the Odeon, uh, which came in um, K, uh, Cajons. Uh, 
boxes of 100. That was deleted in the 1980s. Um, not every cigar that is uh, 38 by 192 mil mils has a pink tail, though. Um, think of some recent uh, discontinued cigars, uh, some very much missed cigars. The El Rey de Mundo, uh, uh, the Grand España, uh, I think I've said it right. I'll have to check the second second review. Um, and uh, these next two cigars I'm going to mention, will, some of you will know and deeply lament, uh, the Partagas Serie de, de Connoisseur number one and then the Partagas Serie de do connoisseur number two. Uh, the number one was 38 by 192 and the number two was 38 by 166. Uh, both those three didn't have uh, pigtails. But in recent times, in the times of uh, limited editions, the Cohiba 1966 early uh, 2011 release and the 2017 Talisman both came out with pigtails. As have the uh, 2010, the Kiva number uh, the 52, the 54, and 56 all came out in pigtails. Anyway, I'm not having a problem drawing through that uh, by uh, untwisting the pigtail and uh, clipping it off with my thumb. It might be a technique that you uh, haven't seen. Um, I admit I've very, very rarely used it. If you've got a cutter, just cut across as per normal if you're worried about it. But yeah, you can see it's fine. Draws fine. I'm very, very fortunate because one thing about these uh, Lancerosses is they can be prone to plugging, and in the past they have been underfilled. But um, that is actually smoking quite nicely. Really, really nice. Um, one thing I have to admit to you, actually, is uh, this is an AMO June 16 uh, part of the Christmas sample series, which all those cigars are 12 to 18 months on, on average. I've actually never had a Lanteros that young. Uh, in the 10th review, I had a Ciglo 6 with the founder of Cuban Cigar website, Trevor Leesk, uh, and we have had a, a few uh, Lanteroses together, and he's given me some to smoke Uh uh, afterwards, um, and they've all been 10 years old. So I'm interested in smoking through this and talking about uh, uh, how this compares to those 10-year-old um, cigars. It's my beautiful wife waving in the background. <laughs> Well, we're very early on in the first third there, and I can tell you just from the first few puffs that this does have that quality grass and hay that is uh, that we all know and love from Kiba. There's also the milk coffee spine there. Um, even before I lit it, there was that beautiful refined barnyard that you get from Kiba also evident. Um, Touch of baking spice. Um, not dominant in any way in honey and citrus uh, at the moment. Uh, but the main thing in its youthfulness uh, so far, and I've only just made a little bit of it, um, it doesn't have uh, that refinement that you would get in a 10 year old, 5 to 10 year old uh, Cohiba Lanceros. Um, it hasn't got that smooth, refined, buttery texture that I really look for uh, in these when they're older. Uh, but, um, typical of a long and skinny, it's smoking beautifully and it's smoking nice and cool. So let me draw on this and I'll talk about that in a second. So if you are familiar with uh, long and skinnies uh, like this one, um, uh, when they come up on uh, Friends of Balance uh, for sale, they, they invariably go very, very quickly. Um, why is that? 
Um, uh, the reason is, in terms of uh, flavour-wise, the fact that they're long and skinny. Um, they burn cooler. Again, this is just my opinion. You may differ, and that's quite okay. In the fact that they, they burn cooler, I feel that the uh, you get that that flavour out of them that is a little bit more distinctive, in my opinion, in comparison to larger ringaceous cigars. Um, now, it works in combination. Again, I'm theorising here. It's what I believe. With the fact that it is a long and skinny and it burns cooler, but the fact that it burns a little bit cooler, those flavours come out a little bit more younger. In the last year or two, um, that is just wondrous. Uh, Flavour there is just wondrous. Uh, in the last year or two, Lancheros and uh, Cohiba Curatus Especiales uh, haven't been as around, and the Churchill size Espanditos haven't been as around as in the past, and they've gone quickly. And um, uh, similarly speaking, as I was mentioning at the beginning of the review, other cigars that have pigtails, uh, I think the reason they got pigtails, as I said at the beginning, was that they were given out as diplomatic cigars, VIP cigars, gifts, they thought it was a premium cigars. Uh, and two other cigars that tend to go quickly on uh, Friends of the Balance when they're for sale, the Monte Cristo Specialis, which is a uh, Laguita number one size, like the Slancheros, and the Specialis number two, uh, also uh, same as the uh, Coronas Specialis size, the 152 long millimetres. Uh, and they go quickly too. And these four cigars, uh, I think they have in common amongst their, in relation to their markers, they're thought of as... Uh, being a bit higher, just a little bit more higher touch in class. Um, just want to draw on this again. That has got a beautiful combination of the baking spice there and the uh, milk coffee, grass quality grass and hay. Such a young cigar, it's it's really gorgeous. It's interesting when um, Trinidad uh, was a marker that was also uh, thought of, uh, was a diplomatic uh, marker, given uh, Trinidad's were handed out as diplomatic gifts, and then it became a public marker in the uh, late 90s, I think 97, 98, around then. Uh, and all Trinidad cigars all come out with pigtails. Isn't that interesting? And uh, uh, they also have a, uh, a longer cigar, not 38 ring gauge, 40 uh, by 192, the Fundadoras, which is also um, uh, similar to the Monte Cristo Special and the um, uh, Dislancheros. Uh, is um, rated as a, a classy long and skinny. I've only just gone through the first third, so um, what I want to do is just wanted to say a few uh, hellos and thanks to a few friends. Uh, Rascal, a few Asian friends. Rascal, lonesome Habana aficionado. Uh, greetings to you uh, fine fellows. A few American friends. Uh, I want to thank uh, Sean. Thanks for your um, uh, just your positive uh, remarks and your feedback uh, uh, um, on FOH. Uh, Hurl Tim, uh, always uh, love your post, mate. And uh, another special uh, member, Matt B82. I know you'd be enjoying this because you love Kahiba. Not all of us do, and that's fine. But uh, I know you love Kahiba, and you'd be enjoying this video. And I'm thinking of you, mate. Look at that ash. Let's see how long that goes for. I'm going to leave it here, and I'm going to come back. Uh, well in past the second half into the last third and I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, I look forward to seeing you then.